In today's video, we'll be removing and replacing the filter in the crankcase ventilation module on a Packard MX-13, and I'll show you the same process for an MX-11. On an MX-13, the CCV is located on the cold side or driver's side of the engine. It sits just below the ECM and is tucked up behind the frame rail. Access is the biggest obstacle in servicing this filter, so be prepared for a tough job ahead of you. Before we get to the job itself, let's discuss why a crankcase ventilation filter is necessary. While your engine is running, the act of the piston pumping up and down creates compression in the combustion chamber. Naturally, some of that compression will make its way past the piston rings and end up down in the crankcase. If the pressure gets excessive, it can cause seals to be pushed out from the inside, so we need a way to vent this to the atmosphere. In older engines, you would just put a tube on the valve cover and call it a day. However, these gases can have oil particles within it, so we can't just dump that on the street anymore. In order to be considered a zero emission engine, we need to separate the oil from the air, so we send the crankcase pressure to the CCV. Inside the CCV, there is a filter spinning at over 10,000 RPM. The vapor enters the filter chamber through the inlet tube at the bottom of the module and hits the spinning filter. From there, vapor is able to freely rise through the top. Solid oil particles collect on the sides and run back down to the crankcase and oil pan. This process safely allows us to vent excess pressure from the crankcase without worry that any petroleum product will end up outside of the engine. As I mentioned, access to this filter is tight. Let's slide underneath to get a better look. Here you can see the CCV above these harnesses and the power steering line. These items will have to be disconnected or loosened in order to access the CCV module and pull it out from the bottom. Pulling it from the bottom is the recommended process as on top of the CCV we have the engine ECM related harnesses plus the AC compressor and alternator all blocking your access. You can see it here buried underneath all those items. The first thing we need to do is disconnect the batteries. If you have a battery cutoff switch, flip it to the off position. If not, you'll need to access the batteries and pull off all the negative battery cables. Make sure you take a picture or note the cable layout before you begin to make sure all the cables get reinstalled correctly. Once that's done, we're going to disconnect the lower ECM connector to free up a little room on the top of the CCV. Grab this yellow latch and pull it to the front of the engine in order to release it. We are also going to remove the upper and lower torque screws securing the harness to the ECM so that the connector can move more freely. To do this, I use a slim 3 8 ratchet with a quarter inch drive adapter for my T30 Torx bit. This is just about the perfect setup to access the bolt and still have enough room to swing the ratchet. Too short and you won't be able to reach the bolt, too long and you'll be hitting the frame rail. Okay, once that's done, move the connector aside but be very careful. Both the harness and the ECM are too expensive to mess around with. Now that the ECM connector is out of the way, we can see the small gray CCV connector tucked back behind the frame rail. In order to show you this process more clearly, I'm moving to a stand engine so you can see it better. I know this is cheating, but there's literally no way to show the whole process in frame, as there's little room for a camera. We'll disconnect the connector first. Just squeeze down on this upper tab to release it and pull it out. Next we'll disconnect the inlet and outlet tubes. They are quick disconnect, so just pinch the release tabs, then pull the tube out. Outlet is removed, same process for the inlet at the bottom. Next locate the six 13mm attachment bolts for the CCV module. There are two at the top and four at the bottom. The upper right fastener is actually a standoff bolt, so you'll need to remove the nut first securing the harness, then find the other nut a little bit away. You must remove this small bracket in order to access that upper right hand standoff bolt. Now we can get to the actual securing bolt that holds the CCV to the block. The rest are fairly simple. Just remove all the remaining bolts and be ready to catch the CCV as it falls through the bottom. Once you have the CCV removed, you can see the exit port for the oil return on the back side here, and the four fasteners at the top securing the motor and filter to the housing. Remove these four bolts, then take a flathead screwdriver and find your pry tabs on the sides. Place the flathead in the tabs and twist to unseat the motor. 
Once that's done, simply pull the motor and filter up out of the housing. Here is the motor, and this is the actual filter you'll be replacing. To reinstall, place the filter on the motor and insert the assembly back into the housing. You'll feel the whole thing drop into place once it's all lined up. Start running the 8mm fasteners down and make sure you apply even pressure as you do so. Work at opposite corners and you'll see the motor pull down into the housing. Torque these to spec and now you're ready for reinstallation. Check the oil return o-ring and lube with clean engine oil. Install the filter to the block and secure it as before. Make sure to torque all fasteners to spec. Once the standoff bolt has been torqued, install the harness bracket and secure it. Next, we'll put the inlet and exit tubes on. Just push them in until you hear them click into place. Now onto the electrical connector. Again, just push it until you hear the click. Don't forget about the ECM lower connector and your batteries if they were disconnected before you begin. On an MX-11 liter engine, the CCB is on the hot side or passenger side of the engine. The access looks better at first, and it is much more accessible than the MX-13, but there are three securing bolts located on the back side of the oil filter module that will be difficult to remove. Here you can see the CCB on the side of the oil filter module, and these are the three backside fasteners. Other than that, the process for the filter removal is the same. Make sure you at least disconnect the batteries before you begin. I hope you found the video informative, and as always, if you have any suggestions for future videos, leave them down in the comment section.